Hello Leo, welcome to your reading for August. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. Oh, happy birthday, by the way. It's your season. All right. Now, I'm going to pull a Celtic cross for you today, but I'm starting off with a couple of Astro cards just to get an overview. All right. That's way too many cards. Really want to jump out for you today, Leo. Interesting. We have Taurus. We have three cards. I'll have to take them. We have Taurus, Capricorn, and Leo. That wanted to pop out. All right. Now, Taurus talks about trust, patience, and sensuality. Capricorn talks about ambition, realism, and methodical steps. And Leo talks about self-confidence, loyalty, and creativity. Now, you could have Taurus and Capricorn heavily in your charts, uh, or you could be dealing with somebody who does, and Leo, well, represents you. The sun is in Leo right now, and it's a great time to open up your heart and be creative. Now, when it comes to Taurus energy, this is second house energy, it talks about trust, it talks about your material wealth, it talks about your income, it talks about um, your image. Your and Capricorn rules the 10th house again which talks about career your public image it talks about ambition and your goals and your dreams and your desires for the future I feel that you are heavily focusing on your material wealth and I feel like this doesn't really have to do with wealth that you accumulate from um, let's say family if that makes sense this is more your own personal wealth and you're focusing on how people look at you with Leo, I feel like a lot of that has to do with what truly makes you happy. I feel like you don't want to climb the corporate ladder, as they say. You want to be more creative. You want to do something that truly brings your heart joy. There's a sense of innovation here, you know, doing something that makes you want to get out of bed every morning, you know, so that it's sustainable for you. All right, let's see. There's a sense of almost like, um doing something that makes you happy but at the same time like it makes your heart happy but it makes your wallet happy as well you know what i mean oh goodness all right center of your reading i'm using the dream keepers tarot it's a stunning deck we have the tower which is um well pluto energy it talks about destroying a foundation it talks about the death of the ego you see that figure falling here that is the ego that is pride that is bias and coming to terms with your own reality and realizing that you don't really want to be at a stalemate and when the sun is in your sign it is a beautiful time to reinvent yourself it is a beautiful time to change how people look at you how you look at yourself as well i'm not saying there's anything wrong with you leo i'm saying that it's good to evolve it's good to progress and to grow and remove outdated and stale beliefs the knight of swords is crossing this i feel like um whenever there is a transformation whenever there is a shift we can be very very harsh on ourselves and the Knight of Swords is someone who prioritizes just logic. It is someone who comes in very swiftly, delivers a message, can be incredibly rude about it and goes about his, his way. I feel that whatever change this is, make sure you are not uh, putting too much pressure on yourself. It is also possible that a conversation may have come about for you that destabilized you. It, this could be an argument, a conflict, it could be a message that came in and that, that just made you extremely acutely uncomfortable. Something that shifted any kind of stability that you were banking upon with Taurus and Capricorn. Let's see, what is your, oh goodness, your focus is the Empress. It's possible for some of you, um, you may be trying to conceive, you may be trying to have babies, that is your focus. For the others, I feel like you are just focusing on growth. Whether this is growth of a business, the creative endeavor that we've been talking about, or it could just be inner growth. It could be 
trying to make yourself more evolved and more wholesome as a person you could be reading more books you could be going to therapy you could be indulging a little more in um, your skin care it could be anything anything that's going to help you become the best version of yourself all right what was in the recent past for you leo the ace of swords there's a lot of truths in your reading uh, and truths that may not have necessarily made you too happy you see how the parasol is protecting her mind but then that's a double-edged sword that she's holding all right the water that she's walking on it, the water in in the tarot represents emotions and feelings i feel like you've conquered your emotions or you had in the past and you were focusing on logic but that double-edged sword can talk about construction as well as destruction so i feel like whatever this truth was it destabilized you it's possible that something that you thought you had overcome something that you thought you had risen above resurfaced and made you question whatever it is that you are dealing with right here again whether it's your self-image it is a business it is a relationship a friendship a family dynamic whatever it is for you some kind of truth has come about for you that has shaken you up but i don't see you stagnating i see you still wanting to grow and evolve all right oh, okay what is your strength what is crowning this reading the four of pentacles now this is a very interesting four of pentacles it talks about balancing stability as well as wisdom i feel that the four of pentacles it, it could be um since we have taurus and capricorn it could be that you are focusing on beliefs that may be out, outdated it's possible that your idea of of stability could be too by the book you know what i mean you feel like something that has worked for you in the past is going to continue grounding you but then we have the tower now this doesn't necessarily have to talk about money this could talk about a relationship it could talk about the ideas that you have of love the philosophy and the beliefs you have surrounding love it's possible that something that may have worked in the past just will not anymore and you need to open yourself up to different possibilities whether it is in a relationship or in your career almost like think outside the box is what i'm getting you know don't hold yourself back keep yourself open not vulnerable but open all right what is your immediate future the seven of pentacles beautiful i feel like you've put in the hard work or at least you will you've invested in the right places luck is on your side we do have a four leaf clover i feel like this wait for um seeing your harvest for reaping your harvest for seeing uh, returns on your investments whether emotional or financial i feel like you will not have to wait too long it is possible that in the past you may have invested in the wrong people in the wrong places but this shift that's coming about with the tower and the four of pentacles i feel like you will finally be able to see due returns that will make you happy all right <laughs> these wanted to come out how you see yourself is the king of swords again lots of swords lots of air mental energy and we have the emperor aries energy now the king of swords is probably uh, now the emperor makes up all the all the kings make up the emperor basically all the four kings right the king of swords in my opinion is the entrepreneur um of all the kings and it is someone who sets his own rules can be very sharp and very cutting but is someone who's very logical i feel like throughout this reading you are prioritizing intellect you're prioritizing logic and you're making your own rules you're making sure that you are in control of your life and you're making sure that there are no variables that can affect your progress i think that is very wise ambition realism methodical steps that is literally this blob right here you have your eye on the prize let's see external influences that you may or may not be aware of who else got this someone before you got this in the same position 
literally the external influence is karma it is justice it is you being rewarded for your hard work with the seven of pentacles and the universe literally having your back i've been talking about uh rules i've been talking about um you know the application of those rules you see that police officer here right if karma and universal justice is not at play no kind of law enforcement is going to work right if people if you make those rules and you don't follow them yourself then there's going to be a disbalance so i feel like once you set the correct rules for yourself and for your life and once you are in total control of what it is that your goals are what your dreams are is when the universe will literally show you the path that all right this is what you need to do and while i was talking this flipped over the chariot balancing light and dark balance there's so much balance in this reading i feel like you're not shying away you're not shying away from the truth you're not shying away from realism there is no sense of wearing rose colored glasses in this reading it is very very real you are almost you're using your your will to to propel yourself forward you see how there are no reins tied to the horses she's controlling them just out of her own free will i feel like you're on the right track leo whatever it is that you're trying to achieve for yourself all right hopes and fears the nine of wands you're worried that life is going to be a constant battle the nine of wands represents chiron it represents the wounded uh, warrior i feel like uh there is a sense of a struggle i feel like you want to stop struggling you want life to not be a struggle anymore they say that every step you take towards your goal it will be harder but then it's just going to get you closer to your to your you know uh achievement right i feel that you you're kind of tired it is possible you you're tired of standing up for your beliefs you're tired of trying to achieve whatever this is but then again with the justice card the universe does have your back it's almost like supporting you right it has a hand on your back and is trying to propel you forward and push you forward and the chariot again is pretty much doing the same thing all right immediate future no potential outcome my bad the queen of wands the queen of wands is magnetic charismatic very good looking and again no gender in tarot just take the energy with you she has her eye on the prize she has an, her eyes towards the future she is creative innovative and extremely dynamic and vivacious full of energy and charisma the bow and arrow suggests that once you start aiming towards your goals once you know exactly what those goals are it will be easier for you to reach them let's not be scattered now let's truly have our eye on the prize know exactly what it is that we want to achieve for ourselves the chariot knows exactly where it's going the horses don't have blinders on but they know exactly where they're going they know that they want to achieve harmony and they have to work together to reach that goal whatever your ambition is those methodical steps are going to get you there they're going to help you elevate all right let's get you a couple of tea leaves to close this off egg success assured with good plans and hard work what did i say planning needs to be done create a blueprint for your goals valley deep personal strength and peace that assure success self confidence loyalty creativity trust patience sensuality ambition realism methodical steps they all match this valley card keep your mind at peace all of these thoughts all of this mental energy may be throwing your mind into chaos breathe forest muddled unclear thinking exactly your mind in chaos use the thoughts wisely try and be clear in your thinking carrot opportunity or windfall stunning make sure you let these opportunities in make sure your mind doesn't block your blessings all right leo all right let's get you a couple of charms to close this off 
we have a feather which talks about messages coming in it could talk about swift movement it could talk about travel we have the letter k this could be your initial could be the initial of someone you're dealing with doesn't have to be and we have a camera there could be a vacation on the cards it's pos possible that you are reminiscing about someone or someone is reminiscing about you but just make sure you don't get too lost in the past it's good to appreciate it but not get lost in it all right that was your reading leo i hope it helped you guys i will see you in the next one bye bye